All right, welcome back to the Clemson Indoor Facility. I can't believe it's actually time for us to do our preview prediction video for the South Carolina game. Yes, that means it's Thanksgiving. Yes, that means the season's almost over. Yes, that means the Tigers have a chance to go 12-0 and once again. Will, give wow. me your key to the, the game Saturday night. You just said that, 12-0 and once again. Mm -hmm. You remember when you thought about and longed for the days that Clemson would go 12-0? and Remember that? These most... Most of the guys on this team, or well, not most, but a lot of these guys on the team have a chance to do that twice. 26 of them. Twice. 26 seniors that's on this amazing. team were, were here four years ago when they did amazing. it. That's as, as, as amazing. To do mm -hmm. that twice in your career, unbelievable. It's unheard of, as Davis Winnie says. Some programs don't go 12-0 and 0 once in their, career, in their program history, much less twice in four years. Maybe Clemson fans this week after they win should hold up 12 fingers. Instead of five. Yeah. Or Figure maybe, out how to do that. Maybe they should get a ring for going 12-0. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. They're not going to get a ring for going 12-0. They've got much bigger goals that they want to do here. Um, so, yeah, you asked me about my keys, right? Yeah, keys. All right. So, this game, you know, obviously emotions are going to be running high and stuff like that. But as Kendall Joseph said earlier this week, it comes down to X's and O's and executing. And for me, it comes down to one simple matchup. Winning at the line of scrimmage. It's that simple. Clemson is so much better on their offensive line versus South Carolina's defensive line and the Clemson's defensive line versus their offensive line, obviously. I just don't see how South Carolina wins either one of those matchups. I don't think they can. South Carolina's beat up on the defensive side of the ball. I think Clemson can pick a number if they want to this week. I really believe that um, because they're so much better at the lines of scrimmage. Clemson's so much better at this line of scrimmage in this game than it was in last week's game against Duke. That's how much better they are in this game. And I just I think that's going to be the key to this game and why, you know, we'll get to the prediction later, but why I don't think it'll be, be close. So the key for Clemson is just go out there and control the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. They'll walk away with an easy win. Well, the key for this game is Jake Bentley. And he's still the quarterback of South Carolina, right? Last time I checked, yes. Okay. So he's going to start Saturday night for South Carolina, right? Last time I checked, yes. Okay. So. That's all you need to know. Clemson fans, fans, as Will said, you pick your score. Those line of scrimmage things you talked about will be a factor because yep. that's going to be a factor in getting pressure on Jake Bentley. Um, I think it was Kendall, one of the players today, talked about how Coach Venables does a, such a great job of preparing them for this game. Last year's game, early in the game, Jake throws the pick six. Boom. Game over. It was over. They were in his head. Guess what? They're going to be in his head. They don't need McKenzie Alexander on the sideline getting in the head of the South Carolina quarterback before the game. They're going to be in Jake Bentley's head Though that would be when fun they get to off see. the bus. Though that would be fun that to see. That would be very fun to see. <laughs> to They're be going honest. to be in his head before they get off the bus. The Power Rangers are going to have a fun day going up against Jake in South Carolina. And, I, you know, as you said, I think one of the questions is going to be what is the score going to be and how – much does Clemson keep the foot on the throat versus how much do they pull it back with a championship yeah. coming down the line the next week. South Carolina, of course, also has a game, but they're playing a team to try to get another win to see if they can go to a little bit better sorry bowl game. Clemson, obviously, will be playing for the ACC championship. All right, Will. All that said, mm -hmm. now we get to pick the score. So what score are you going to pick? Okay, man. You saw Coach Venables this week and how he does not like how the South Carolina fans disrespect Clemson, Dabo Sweeney. Mm -hmm. He does not like it. He made it a point, talked about how if that was his kid, there'll be some there'll talking be to there'll be trouble at home. Guess what, South Carolina? There's going to be trouble, and Brent Venables is at home. Game costs don't score this week. This is when I finally get my shutout, Robert. I've been you asking for it all year. Jay gets a this is it against Clemson's fourth string defense in the fourth quarter. No, I think even you know they'll leave him in there. I know even the fourth string defense will will make sure they don't get the shut. They will make sure they get the shutout. I'm calling it. First time since 1989, Clemson's going to shut out the Gamecocks. And because of what you said, that Clemson's not going to, because they got the championship game next week and all. I'm going to go ahead and go with the same score from 1989. 45 to nothing, Clemson over South Carolina. Oh, yeah, I knew that was the 1989 score. Said that right, May. Came out wore the orange britches for the first time on the road in that game. All right, we're going to disagree a little bit. Uh, I do think South Carolina will get some points, and I think probably more than likely those points, they might get a field goal or two off the first team defense. I don't think they'll get in the end zone, but I do think they'll get some garbage points late in the game because I think Clemson will play everybody. It'll be another one of those games where. 
Campbell wants to get all the seniors in their final game and, you know, everybody in the game against South Carolina. Uh, and I don't think – I think South Carolina will leave their starters in like a lot of teams have against Clemson this year and get some garbage points late. So, I do think Clemson, uh, the good news, and we talk about this every week, and this hasn't played out the way I thought the last two weeks. I don't know if it's weather or just slow starts. Um, but one of the things Clemson has done a lot this year is – been able to score a lot of points when they do go to Chase Price late in the games because they do want him running the normal offense, gaining more experience. So I'm going to go a little bit higher than you. I'm not going to get crazy like I did last week and go 63. I'm going to go uh, Clemson 52, South Carolina 17. Something 52 in that, to 17. Round. I'll take either one of our scores. Yeah. I'll take a 30 plus point victory, although I think all Clemson fans would love to see. Clemson, uh, you know, 63 to nothing or just, just oh, a, yeah. above, oh, was the, 63 above. to nothing. I think that's number 63 and zero would be perfect. But here's a stat as people go into this game that I didn't realize until the other day. Clemson's defense all season long has not allowed a first quarter touchdown. They've only allowed two, count of two touchdowns in the first half all season long. That's amazing. That, and that is plays amazing. plays into what I talked about with Jake Bentley. If Clemson comes out, they get the lead. Jake Bentley's trying to play catch up, and Clemson's just basically saying, hey, Power Rangers, go tee off. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a long afternoon for South Carolina. This defense. The one thing that could keep the score down is yeah. if we do get the rain moved later in the night, then that, of course, always brings the score down a little bit. People ask me all the time, how good is this Clemson defense? Is it? better than the 1990 defense, which to me personally I think is the best defense ever. Is it better than the 2014 defense, which I think is the second best ever? I think this defense is better than both of them. I really do believe that. Um, they just got pros all across the board. That defensive front's the best I've ever seen at Clemson. Um, I, and we'll get a chance to prove it against, against South the Carolina. elite teams. Well, they'll get yeah. a chance to do it against South Carolina, but down the road, December, January, we're going to really find out. Mm -hmm. how good this defense is. Exactly. All right, stay tuned to TCI. We're going to have everything covered for you all weekend long. Uh, we'll be up late. We'll be on we'll be up late. duty for you, <laughs> rolling everything in the world out. Clemson fans will be all fired up, whooping the South Carolina again, headed back to another championship. Uh, so stay tuned to TCI for the most complete coverage of Clemson football.